suddenly, after that, Coach goes to the Super Bowl, I finally caught the butt out of the treatment. See this? I don't work here. Never will. Confucius say women who bathe in vinegar have sour puss. Welcome to the range with your host Brandon Brown and here your range panel the one and only the honorable Chris Gallon. <laughs> J.B. Brown and the one, the only, Cleveland Spears. Super Bowl, baby! Speaking of the Super Bowl. Super Bowl! <laughs> like I predicted in week 10. Well, this man gets to say he's going to the show. He's going to the show. He's going to the show. That's right. Family One of the got teams. still better. Huh? Family got still better. <laughs> I don't even care. One. I'll choose Clemmy Show. <laughs> One of the participants in the Super Bowl, and he's wearing a hat for him, the Indianapolis Colts. And they are going against the upstart, the underdog, the New Orleans Saints. Who did? So, we've come to it, and while we have the first person, we're going to let the man whose team is in the Super Bowl talk about it first. Cleveland, be objective! Alright, I'll be very objective for you right now. I mean, this, this will be the only time you ever see me be objective about this whole damn game. Okay, first of all, the Saints, best offense in the NFL. you got to give it to them. These people can score points in bunches. You can ask the Vikings, you can ask you know, the Cardinals. You can ask, you know, the Redskins at some point. <laughs> you can ask the Giants. You can ask the Jets. You can ask anybody they play really this year except for the Buccaneers, the Cowboys, and the Panthers that they can score points in about any possible way. So I got to give it to them. They do very well. The the kicker, I mean, really, he, I mean, ice, you know, veins of ice right there, man, because... In a situation like that, knowing you can send your team to the first Super Bowl and he kicked it right down the middle, tells you something about that guy's confidence level. It says it's very high and that, you know what, he can make any kick he wants to. So if the game does come down to a field goal in the you know, Super Bowl, who says he can't make that kick? Because he's already sent his team to the Super Bowl. Who said he can't be like you know Adam Vinatieri when he was with the Patriots for that first Super Bowl? Who, who said he, that can't happen? Vinatieri will be there, just on the other team, not even playing. But uh, <laughs> but as for you know, go to the Colts side of the football. Why? How could the you know? Why is it the Colts can win this game? Two words: Peyton Manning. That's all you need, Peyton Manning. So I got to give it to him on that. Also, the Saints have had five takeaways against the Vikings, and they only won by three. The Peyton you Young, know, the Colts. They're not going to you know, turn the ball over five times. It just doesn't happen that way. Darren Sharper says he's a he's already almost basically guaranteed two interceptions against Peyton Manning. So let's see if he can get those two plus another three. Because really and truly, I can see Peyton Manning only turn the ball over one time, and that might be on downs, <laughs> to be honest with you. So... If I'm, you know, if I'm the pay, if I'm the Colts, I'm looking at game film from what Dallas did, game film of what the Panthers did, and what, you know, can't believe I'm saying it, but what Tampa Bay did. Because really and truly, those were the three worst games. In games in which they have lost, they have only scored 17 points. They average 17 points a game. In games that they have won, they have scored 32 points a game. So, if, the, if the, the Saints have at least 32 points come the fourth quarter, they got a shot to win. One thing I do get to do the Colts, though, the Colts have had eight close wins decided by three points or less this season. Can you give it? you got to give it to them. 
three, you know, from three to seven, they have ten wins. Three to seven points, they have ten wins. So ten out of fourteen wins were just bare wins. So the Colts know how to play close games. I got to give it to them. I, but you know what? I, I'm going to pick the Colts because that is my team. But I am going to say the Saints have a good shot to win. JB. I mean, all of those are great points. Uh, Saints. It, Saints are the best offensive team in the league, but you're going up against the best quarterback in the league in Peyton Manning, and who doesn't really turn over the ball at all. So I'm going to go on a limb. I'm going to go with the New Orleans Saints. I wouldn't consider this an upset, but I'm going to go with the Saints closer than the experts think. Chris. <laughs> you know what? It really took me a long time to actually decide on who I really feel would win this game. One hand, Manning versus Breeze. We got the wide receivers versus wide receiver core. Excellent. D defensive backs, they're really going to be non-existent this game. doesn't matter. The front seven on both defenses will play a major role. The only thing is, like he said, Peyton Manning really doesn't turn the ball over. So in that case, I would lean toward the Colts. The only thing that the Saints can do that the Colts really can't do is special teams. Reggie Bush. I'm not a big fan of Reggie Bush, but he is dangerous. He is dangerous on punt return, and he's dangerous coming out the backfield on swing passes and screens. Now, if they also use him in the special teams, if they use him in the special teams, particularly on a kickoff return, the Colts might have a lot to deal with. Yeah. But, considering that this game is just nothing but offense, I got to give it to Peyton Manning. And I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> but I am picking the Colts to win the Super Bowl. Hard for you to say that, man. <laughs> What's the spread? Say home. I say ten to seven. Nah, I, I say I say forty-five, thirty-seven. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, it's making it to be that kind of game anyway. So whoever has the ball last, that, that's a very good point too. Yeah. Uh... Uh, I had to say 42-38. Even I'll tell you what, here's a stat, though. Here's a stat for you. And this is something Greg Williams of the Saints said he will do. He will send a blitz to Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning completes 68.6% .6 of his passes when they, send five blitz, when they send five defenders. So that's secondary, but a watch out. And most of those passes go for 20-plus yards. Now, in passing attempts, if you get past, you know, when, when Breeze goes 20 plus, he only completes really after those 20 plus passes, only completes less than 50 percent. When Peyton Manning throws more than 20 passes, he is still completing 70 percent of his passes. So if he throws the ball more than 20 times, He's still completing 70% of his passes. And so in the, a in the AFC Championship game, he threw the ball 44 times. Okay? Completed 31 passes. So, frankly, and Drew Brees, after about 20 passes, he's really going to be very difficult to complete passes. Mm -hmm. All righty. Great points from the panel. A very exciting game coming up in the Super Bowl. Don't worry, up next, we'll be back with the range. Stay tuned.